to talk to you about the cost versus price impact. Too many people are getting commoditized where price is the only issue, and we're not doing a good enough job in selling costs. What's the difference? Cost is the amount of money someone pays throughout the entire life cycle of using your products or services. Price is only about the amount of money they pay when they ring up the cash register at the time of purchase. Too many people are so fixated on the price and they don't go to the cost, the total cost of acquisition throughout the entire life cycle. Let me tell you a story. One of my mentors, the late Bill Brooks, wrote a book, You're Working Too Hard to Make the Sale. In the book, he interviewed 6,000 buyers from all industries and he asked them this one question, why do you always beat up salespeople on price? And here was their answer. Put yourselves in my shoes. I sit here and I have eight salespeople coming in to see me every day and they're all saying the same thing, all about their features, when at the end of the day it all sounds familiar. So the only way to differentiate them is through price. Well, whose fault is that? Is that the purchasing agent or the salesperson's fault? It's the salesperson's fault because we train people how to buy. Instead of leading with features, we got to be asking questions about where they're trying to go as an organization. What are their biggest challenges? What improvements are they trying to make in their productivity? And when we can find that out, we can then do a, a, a price plus conversation. We can talk to them not only about the money that they're going to spend when they start buying it from you, but how much you can save them over time through better utilization, better efficiency. Now the key to this is you have to have a bigger conversation. You have to have what I call as an enterprise conversation, not a product conversation. And the other thing you have to do is you have to get good at financial selling. What is financial selling? Financial selling is when you look at the two, three, or four common metrics that everybody's looking for in your business. And then you go into an organization and you plug their numbers into the metrics. For example, let's suppose that everybody's trying to improve efficiency, throughput, how many more products can they push through a machine in a given time. And if you can prove that your products can push through another two manufacturing runs in a day, how much money would that provide for them? So you go into your customer, you find out how much money they make on a manufacturing run, you find out how long it takes to do a manufacturing run, and you plug those numbers into your model. And at the end, you now show them their real life numbers as to how much more they can be making by using your product. That's the cost effect, not the price effect. So when we talked about cost, yes, it may be more exp expensive up front, but if there's more maintenance, if there's more breakdowns, if it takes longer for people to use a product versus yours, it's going to cost them more. That's the conversation you need to get into. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much someone spends on something, it matters how much they have in the bank at the end of the day. And if you can help a company save money, save time, save efficiency, and put those other good things to use to help them be in a higher competitive advantage, you become a hero. So my question to you is simply this, are you selling on price or are you selling on cost?